All right, let's talk about some of the less heralded names. You mentioned one, Tommy Fleetwood. Tell us about this guy. He's kind of, you know, he's a European tour guy, yeah. unfamiliar to many American fans. He's had a really good year, too. He ended up winning uh, in Abu Dhabi, so he, he's got a victory this year. He ended up kind of contending uh, as a clubhouse contender, like we said, in Mexico at the WGC. Ended up taking second, uh, jumped into the top 50 at that point in the world rankings. Now he's number 33 in the world. This guy's no chump. Mm -hmm. He is no slouch. And he's only made uh, three bogeys the entire week. Went bogeyless on Thursday. He's, he's kind of almost like Bill Haas, like I said, in kind of plotting his way out there, putting himself in these 10, 12, 15 foot birdie putt positions. And he's making a good number of them. So. Three bogeys all week at this course. He might make a couple tomorrow, but his his game has put him in enough birdie opportunities too. And what can you tell us about Brian Harmon? I know Michael Bamberger was pretty hot to trot on yeah. Brian's chances tomorrow, but he's another name that a lot of fans might not know very well, despite yeah. the fact that he, he he has a couple wins. Yes, and he won this year. He won a big event, the Wells Fargo. You can't forget what these guys have done in the weeks leading up to where we are right now. He's a little lefty. He's short. But he gets about everything he can get out of his swing. And right now, he's been putting, I think, in the top 10 for the week. So whenever, whenever your putter's working, that kind of helps the rest of your game build confidence around it. So he's got confidence working. Also, he's only made two bogeys this week. So the guy has been playing just really stout golf, not getting himself into trouble. He's been scrambling for pars and making a lot, at least a good number, number of birdies. So, I mean, can you hate a guy that's in a lead, right? You can't <laughs> really hate him that not, much. No, we got to root for everybody. He's got always. the advantage right yeah, now. We don't want to have any any bad vibes to anyone. As little Positivity. of experience as he might have, he has a one shot lead. Mm -hmm. And there's plenty of trouble to be had in the first couple holes. As easy as they've played, there's plenty of trouble out there. Everyone is on edge at Whistling or at Aaron Hills, excuse me, especially when the wind's going to blow tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So by the time he tees off, it might be even made easier for him. We'll see.